The vast expanse of history is a chronicle of the rise and fall of civilizations, their growth, evolution, and eventual decline. Yet, at the very beginning of this chronicle, stands a civilization that truly set the course for the world as we know it today. We journey back to ancient Mesopotamia, where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers cradle a land that would give birth to one of the first great civilizations, the Sumerians. As we venture into the heart of the Middle East, it's easy to see why this region, abundant in freshwater and fertile soil, became a hotspot for early settlements. The natural resources made agriculture viable. And with time, these early communities evolved into bustling urban centers. The city-states of Sumer, like Uruk, Ur, and Eridu, each stood as independent entities surrounded by imposing walls and ruled by powerful priest kings. These early urban centers became powerhouses of trade, culture, and innovation, making Sumer a focal point of early human advancement. Within these cities, the Sumerians practiced intricate systems of governance, religion, and commerce. Their ziggurats, or tiered temples, soared toward the sky, symbolizing their deep spiritual connection and their intent to be closer to their gods. Yet, what is a civilization without its voice? The Sumerians gave the world one of its earliest written languages, cuneiform. Through their meticulous record-keeping on clay tablets, they narrated their myths, legends, and even mundane daily transactions. These writings offer invaluable insights into their society, beliefs, and the advanced nature of their civilization. And as we sift through these records, one can't help but marvel at their contributions to mathematics and astronomy the Sumerians were among the first to employ a system of counting based on the number 60, a system that's evident even today when we measure minutes and seconds. By setting the foundation for subsequent Mesopotamian cultures, the Sumerians indeed heralded the dawn of organized society. But what drove them towards such greatness? How did they overcome challenges and what led to their eventual decline? Join us as we continue this exploration into the mesmerizing world of the Sumerians. The vast stretches of the Mesopotamian landscape not only harbored the flourishing of agricultural fields and city-states, but also cultivated a fertile ground for the human intellect and the blossoming of knowledge. Central to this cognitive renaissance was the Sumerians' groundbreaking invention, cuneiform. The soft banks of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers yielded clay, an abundant resource in ancient Mesopotamia. The Sumerians, ever innovative, began imprinting symbols onto wet clay tablets using a stylus, typically a reed sharpened to a point. These symbols, initially just pictographs representing objects, would evolve into more abstract signs, marking the birth of cuneiform. These scripts provided the Sumerians with the means to communicate across generations. From recording trades and debts to inscribing legends and hymns, cuneiform became the beating heart of Sumerian culture. The city of Nippur, considered a major religious center, emerged as a hub of Sumerian learning, where scholars and scribes gathered to pen down their knowledge. The Sumerians held the profession of a scribe in high regard. To become one was a path to upward mobility in society. Schools, referred to as edubas, were established, where young pupils underwent rigorous training, mastering the complexities of the cuneiform script and the art of documentation. The world's oldest known piece of literature, the Epic of Gilgamesh, bears testament to the literary genius of the Sumerians. This epic, a tale of friendship, love, and the quest for immortality, showcases the depths of Sumerian introspection and their sophisticated worldview. Mathematics, too, saw immense growth. 
The base 60 number system of the Sumerians laid the groundwork for our modern understanding of time divisions and geometry. They were also pioneers in the field of astronomy, correlating celestial events with seasonal changes, aiding in agriculture and religious observances. In this era of Sumerian enlightenment, the boundaries of human understanding expanded exponentially. The intricate cuneiform characters imprinted on countless clay tablets not only conveyed data, but also encapsulated the dreams, aspirations, and soul of an entire civilization. Amidst the Fertile Crescent, where life flourished under the benevolent embrace of the Tigris and Euphrates, emerged powerful entities, the pillars of Sumerian civilization, the city-states. Each city-state was a beacon of strength, culture, and governance, existing both independently and interdependently in the landscape of ancient Mesopotamia. The architecture of these cities was monumental. Fortified walls enveloped them, safeguarding their inhabitants from potential invaders and wild beasts. The city's heart often housed a majestic ziggurat surrounded by bustling markets, residential quarters, and administrative buildings. Every brick, every structure spoke of the grandeur of Sumerian engineering and aesthetics. Each city-state, while sharing cultural and religious threads, was governed by its sovereign entity. At the helm of these city-states were the Ensi, or Lugal, terms often used to describe kings or rulers. These rulers held dual responsibilities as political leaders and as intermediaries between the people and the gods. Their ruler was believed to be divinely ordained, granting them both reverence and authority. The concept of kingship was deeply entrenched in Sumerian society. Early lists, like the Sumerian King List, detailed the reigns of kings spanning thousands of years, some reigning for improbably long periods, hinting at the blend of mythology and history in Sumerian records. Cities like Uruk, under the leadership of the legendary King Gilgamesh, expanded their territories and influence. Uruk, with its grand walls and architectural marvels, became a model for urban development. Then there was Ur, which, under the rule of Ur-Namu, saw the creation of one of the earliest known code of laws providing insights into the legal and moral framework of Sumerian society. Yet the strength of a city-state wasn't just in its walls or rulers, but in its people. The Sumerians in their cities created a system of division of labor. Craftsmen, merchants, farmers, and priests all had defined roles, making the urban machine function seamlessly. However, proximity to one another meant that conflicts for resources and dominance were inevitable. Battles were fought, alliances forged, and diplomacy became an essential tool. The rich mosaic of intercity relations laid down the complex socio-political foundations that would shape the course of Mesopotamian history. As we continue our journey, we'll immerse ourselves in the spiritual world of the Sumerians, exploring their deep-rooted beliefs, legends, and the omnipresent gods that watched over them. In the vast sun-baked expanses of Mesopotamia, beneath the clear skies and amidst the winding rivers, the Sumerians nurtured a cosmology rich in nuance and profundity. To understand the Sumerians, one must venture into their spiritual realm, a world where gods and mortals coexisted shaping the tapestry of existence. Central to Sumerian spirituality were the gods, powerful beings who presided over various elements of the universe. An, the god of the heavens, Enlil, lord of the wind and earth, and Enki, god of water and wisdom, stood as the chief triad, orchestrating the affairs of the cosmos. But these celestial beings were not distant deities. They were deeply embedded in the daily lives of the Sumerians. Each city-state had its patron god or goddess. For instance, the city of Ur revered Nana, the moon god, while Uruk paid homage to Inanna, the goddess of love and war. These deities were believed to reside in the Grand Ziggurats, the steppe temples that towered over the cityscapes, symbolizing the bridge between the heavens and earth. Religious rituals and ceremonies permeated Sumerian society. Priests and priestesses, revered as intermediaries between the gods and humans, performed intricate ceremonies to appease, praise, and seek blessings from the deities. 
These ceremonies, often accompanied by hymns and music, provided structure and meaning to the Sumerian calendar, marking seasons, harvests, and celestial events. Beyond the tangible rituals, Sumerian mythology offered a window into their understanding of life, death, and the mysteries of the universe. Stories, rich in allegory and symbolism, were passed down through generations. One of the most poignant of these tales is the descent of Inanna, where the goddess descends to the underworld, symbolizing the cyclical nature of life, death, and rebirth. Another central narrative is the Epic of Enki and Ninhursag, which explores themes of creation, fertility, and the harmonious balance of nature. These myths, filled with complex characters and moral lessons, serve not just as entertainment, but as tools for introspection, guiding societal values and ethics. In this spiritual cosmos, where gods and humans dance the eternal dance of existence, the Sumerians found solace, guidance, and purpose. Their beliefs were the compass that navigated them through the challenges of their time. Beyond the towering ziggurats, beyond the grand city walls, lay the heart of Sumerian civilization, its people. To truly grasp the essence of Sumer, one must traverse the bustling streets, enter the humble abodes, and witness the daily rhythms that defined life in ancient Mesopotamia. As dawn broke, the city would come alive with the sounds of merchants setting up their stalls, children playing, and craftsmen immersed in their work. Agriculture, owing to the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, was the backbone of the economy. Farmers, using advanced irrigation techniques, cultivated barley, wheat, flax, and dates. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers weren't just sources of water. They were lifelines that facilitated trade and transport. Trade was integral to Sumerian society. Merchants would travel far and wide, from the Indus Valley to Anatolia, exchanging grains for precious metals, stones, and other exotic goods. The bazaars of Sumer were a sensory overload, vibrant, noisy, and aromatic, showcasing the rich diversity of goods from various lands. Sumerian homes built with sun-dried mud bricks varied in size and design based on one's status and wealth. A typical house consisted of multiple rooms centered around a courtyard with the spaces designed for functionality. In these households, family was paramount, while men were primarily involved in public affairs, trade and manual work. Women managed the household, raised children, and some even engaged in professions like weaving or working as priestesses. Education, as we've seen, was a valued pursuit, primarily for the elite. The adubas, or schools, were rigorous, and the path of a scribe was both demanding and rewarding. However, for most children, learning was imparted within the household, focusing on skills and crafts essential for daily life. Cuisine was another vital aspect of daily life. The Sumerians enjoyed a varied diet, from barley-based dishes like bread and beer to meats and fish from the rivers. Festivals and feasts, often linked to religious observances, were occasions of joy, revelry, and communal bonding. Clothing in Sumer was simple yet functional, given the region's warm climate. Wool and flax were commonly used materials. While the common folk donned simple tunics, the elite adorned themselves with intricately designed garments, jewelry, and cosmetics, showcasing their status. In the intricate dance of daily life, from sunrise to sunset, the Sumerians wove stories of joy, sorrow, love, and labor. Their lives, a blend of routine and celebration, laid the foundations for societal norms and traditions that would resonate through the ages. In the vast theater of human history, certain civilizations shine particularly brightly, not merely for their grandeur, but for their profound contributions to humanity's collective knowledge. The Sumerians, with their insatiable curiosity and innovative spirit, were pioneers, pushing the boundaries of what was known and possible. At the heart of Sumerian innovation was their approach to problem solving. The challenges posed by their environment and society often required complex solutions. Take, for example, their intricate irrigation systems. Mesopotamia, while fertile, was subject to unpredictable river flooding. Instead of seeing this as an insurmountable obstacle, the Sumerians devised an extensive network of canals, levees, and reservoirs. 
This not only regulated the water supply, but transformed the landscape, allowing for consistent agricultural productivity. The wheel, often taken for granted in modern times, is another remarkable Sumerian innovation. Initially perhaps used as a potter's tool, its potential for transport was soon realized. Coupled with the domestication of beasts of burden, the Sumerians revolutionized land transportation, opening up new avenues for trade and communication. Their mathematical prowess was nothing short of extraordinary. The Sumerians operated with a base 60 system, a precursor to our modern minutes and hours. This system was not only used for timekeeping, but also in geometry, allowing them to make precise measurements, crucial for construction and land division. This keen mathematical sense was also mirrored in their astronomy. They charted the stars, identifying constellations, and even recognizing the cyclical patterns of celestial bodies, which later civilizations would come to understand as planets. In the realm of medicine, while their understanding was interwoven with spiritual beliefs, they displayed an impressive grasp of herbal remedies, surgical procedures, and diagnostic practices. Clay tablets have been unearthed, detailing prescriptions, indicating an organized approach to health and wellness. And of course, one cannot discuss Sumerian advancements without acknowledging their most enduring legacy, cuneiform. This system of writing, initially a means of accounting, evolved to record laws, myths, and even personal letters. The very act of writing transformed the Sumerians from a civilization bound by oral traditions to one that could document, reflect, and pass down knowledge across generations. These innovations born from the minds of ancient thinkers were not mere isolated achievements. They laid the groundwork for subsequent societies to build upon, creating a ripple effect through time. The Sumerians, in their pursuit of knowledge and mastery over their environment, laid down markers on the path of human progress. Behind the monumental structures, the intricate art, and the profound spiritual beliefs, the engine driving Sumer was its robust economy. An interplay of local resources, innovative techniques, and far-reaching trade networks positioned Sumer as a vital hub in the ancient world. Local agriculture, nurtured by the fertile Crescent's alluvial soil, was the primary economic activity. Barley, wheat, and flax thrived in these lands, not just meeting local needs, but producing surplus for trade. Beyond crops, the marshlands provided reeds, crucial for building and craft work, while the rivers teemed with fish, enriching the Sumerian diet and commerce. Yet for all its natural bounty, Sumer had limitations. The land lacked essential resources like timber, precious metals, and stones. This scarcity was the catalyst for expansive trade networks. Recognizing the importance of diversifying their resources, the Sumerians ventured beyond their borders, navigating challenging terrains and establishing contacts with distant civilizations. The city-states of Sumer, each an independent entity, often spearheaded these ventures. They established trading colonies, like the one at Karum Kanesh in Anatolia, where they exchanged textiles and grains for silver. Their reach extended to the Indus Valley, where they traded for luxury goods like lapis lazuli. This trade was not merely transactional, it facilitated a cross-pollination of ideas, technologies, and cultural practices. The exchange of cuneiform tablets, for instance, introduced the nuances of Sumerian script and record-keeping to distant lands. However, economic relations weren't always amicable. The lure of resources and strategic advantages led to conflicts between city-states and with neighboring regions. Battles for dominance over trade routes and territories were frequent, and the annals of history are peppered with tales of alliances, betrayals, and shifting power dynamics. A poignant example is the tug of war between Sumer and the neighboring Akkadian Empire, which under the leadership of Sargon of Akkad, eventually engulfed Sumer, leading to a period of Akkadian dominance. Yet, even in subjugation, the cultural and economic might of Sumer was undeniable, deeply influencing the Akkadian administration and beyond. In this intricate dance of commerce, diplomacy, and warfare, the Sumerians not only expanded their horizons, but also laid the foundations for international relations and economic policies that resonate even today.
The artistic endeavors of the Sumerians were intricate, meaningful, and varied. Statuary, in particular, was significant. Stone statues of worshippers from sites like Eshnunna and Tel Asmar, with their wide, almond-shaped eyes and clasped hands, exude a sense of devotion and reverence. These were likely votive offerings, symbolizing the presence of the devotee in perpetual prayer. Seal impressions, typically made of stone, were another art form that combined both aesthetics and functionality. They bore intricate designs representing scenes from mythology, daily life, or symbolic motifs, and were used to mark ownership or authenticate documents. Wall murals and reliefs painted a vivid tapestry of life. From battle scenes to ceremonial processions, they chronicled significant events, portraying them with a keen attention to detail. The standard of Ur, for instance, provides a captivating glimpse into both war and peace, showcasing the Sumerian prowess in mosaic artistry. Music was a resonant aspect of Sumerian culture, played during religious ceremonies, festivals, and daily events. While no actual musical compositions from the era have survived, cuneiform tablets provide clues about the instruments used, the scales, and even some lyrics. Instruments like the lyre, harp, and reed pipes were popular. The golden lyre of Ur, discovered from the royal tombs of Ur, with its intricately crafted bull's head and shell, lapis lazuli, and red limestone inlays, is a testament to the importance and sophistication of music in Sumerian society. Literature was a key expression of the Sumerian spirit. Their stories, etched in cuneiform on clay tablets, ranged from hymns and prayers to myths and epics. The aforementioned Epic of Gilgamesh is perhaps the most iconic, narrating the adventures of the hero King Gilgamesh and his quest for immortality. But beyond the epics, there were also personal letters, administrative documents, and even what might be considered ancient poetry, reflecting on love, nature, and the human experience. Their literature wasn't merely for entertainment. It served educational purposes, spiritual connections, and preserving historical records. Many of these texts became foundational, influencing later Mesopotamian cultures and echoing through the corridors of time. As with all great civilizations, the wheel of time and fate brought changes, challenges, and eventually, a decline to the luminous era of Sumer. Yet in its descent, Sumer left an indelible mark, a legacy that continues to shape and inform the tapestry of human history. Several factors contributed to the decline of Sumer. Recurring and intense conflicts between city-states drained resources, both human and material. The skirmishes for dominance and control over trade routes weakened individual city-states, making them susceptible to external threats. This vulnerability was exploited by emerging powers, notably the Akkadian Empire. Sargon of Akkad, with his ambitious vision, consolidated the fragmented city-states, marking the end of Sumerian political dominance. Yet it's essential to note that even under Akkadian rule, Sumerian culture, language, and traditions continued to flourish, influencing the very core of the Akkadian civilization. Environmental factors, too, played a role. Over time, excessive irrigation led to soil salinization, reducing agricultural yields. Coupled with changing river courses and potential climatic shifts, the once fertile crescent faced agricultural challenges. However, Sumer's decline in political dominance didn't equate to a decline in cultural influence. Its legacy was manifold, deeply embedded in the fabric of successive civilizations that arose in Mesopotamia from the Akkadians and Babylonians to the Assyrians. The gift of cuneiform, Sumer's writing system, became the medium through which history, law, literature, and administration were recorded for centuries. Hammurabi's Code, one of the earliest legal codes, was inscribed in the Akkadian language using cuneiform script, a testament to Sumer's lasting influence. The pantheon of Sumerian gods, myths, and legends found echoes in subsequent cultures, undergoing transformations but retaining core narratives. Moreover, Sumer's advancements in mathematics, astronomy, and medicine laid the groundwork for scientific pursuits, providing tools and methodologies for exploration and understanding. As we reflect upon Sumer, it isn't merely a civilization lost to the sands of time. It's a beacon, illuminating the innate human spirit of curiosity, resilience, and creativity, 
In its ziggurats, in its clay tablets, in its stories, and in its innovations, Sumer lives on, a testament to humanity's perpetual quest for knowledge, meaning, and connection. As the golden sun sets over the Tigris and Euphrates, casting long shadows over remnants of ancient ziggurats and city walls, we find ourselves reflecting on the grand narrative of Sumer, a civilization that from its inception paved the way for many of the societal constructs, innovations, and cultural mores that we recognize and value today. But like many ancient civilizations, the sands of time, along with the tides of invasions, conquests, and nature's whims, buried the physical remnants and memories of Sumer deep into the annals of history. For millennia, Sumer existed mostly in the realm of myths and forgotten texts, until the fervor of 19th century archaeology brought it back to the forefront of human consciousness. This modern rediscovery was nothing short of a renaissance. Led by passionate archaeologists and explorers, expeditions were launched, particularly in the 1800s, to regions that are today part of Iraq. Amidst the layers of earth were stories waiting to be told, from the fragments of pottery, inscribed cuneiform tablets, to the grand gates of city-states. Among the myriad discoveries, the excavation of the royal tombs of Ur in the 1920s was particularly illuminating. It offered a treasure trove, not just of precious metals and gems, but of intricate artifacts and evidence of burial customs that gave insight into the Sumerian worldview on life, death, and the afterlife. It wasn't merely about unearthing artifacts, it was a resurrection of a language. The decipherment of cuneiform, a script once considered lost to history, opened windows to literature, law, trade, and personal correspondences. Through these texts, the voices of priests, kings, merchants, poets, and everyday Sumerians echoed once again, recounting tales of gods and heroes, joys and sorrows, and the ebb and flow of daily life. Today, Sumer's legacy is not just confined to museum displays or academic discussions. It permeates our modern sensibilities in subtle yet profound ways. Our mathematical systems, legal codes, literary archetypes, and even urban planning bear imprints of Sumerian ingenuity. Yet it is in the intangibles, the indomitable human spirit, the quest for knowledge, and the innate need to create and express where Sumer's essence truly resonates. In revisiting Sumer, we don't just learn about an ancient civilization. We're reminded of the continuum of human history. The aspirations, challenges, achievements, and legacies of the Sumerians are, in many ways, a mirror to our own journey. As we stand at the crossroads of past and present, looking towards the future, the tale of Sumer is a testament to humanity's enduring spirit, the quest for progress, and the timeless desire to leave a lasting mark on the tapestry of time. <laughs>